Super Samus, this is Tori from the Grey. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Showdown Battles. Um, today, we've got kind of a random assortment of things. Um, <clears throat> I was doing um, the Grey version stuff that was online, and I was hanging out, um, waiting to be challenged for, for this week's Grey version battle. Uh, and Skad jumped on, and, and we did our, our battle, um, our rival battle, to start off the Grey version. And uh, he was like, I, I didn't have any other challenges. Like, hey, do you want to just do some real battles, pick some tiers, and we'll we'll go at it? I was like, sure, why not? Let's do it up. So, um, I picked the first tier. I went little cup, um, and I, I went with my something fishy team just because it was at the top of the list. I was like, yeah, let's see how this team works against like another person and see how that goes. Um, and so that's what we did. Uh, so Skad and I uh, start off here in little cup, and I'm just kind of rotating around. It's it's always interesting when you're battling somebody who watches your stuff and who knows you and your strategies and things like that because sometimes it's like uh, I know especially like when I was using Morden in the past um, Morden is my counter sturdy dwebble um, people expect the shell smash uh, berry juice but uh, I had a, a counter dwebble um, and, and but people who know what to expect with him like that only really works well if they don't really expect it <laughs> But, um, you know, battling against people who do know what to expect is sometimes much more challenging. Uh, so, uh, this was a fun battle for me. Uh, a fun battle, and uh, we had, this team actually ended up doing much better than I expected they would. Um, because, you know, I haven't really, in my estimation, tested them real thoroughly yet. I mean, we've done several episodes with them. Um, but at this point, I kind of just threw this team together. I was like, okay, I need a specially defensive wall, and so there's where Depth Charge comes in. Need a physical wall. We've got Fumesy for that. You know, a physical or a special attacker, Abra. I mean, so like, I just kind of threw components together. And I was like, okay, let's go. And uh, and so it was definitely uh, been an interesting uh, thing here to to do this. And uh, Depth Charge with uh, his special defenses, uh, definitely a big component to this win. Being able to tank several hits from that Abra was uh, was amazing. So. Um, then Siler comes in and get an energy ball. Rufus there, uh, Crinion comes in. Then they're a little leap, and uh, Abra's gonna be able to finish it off with the hidden power fighting. Um, but uh, yeah, so a very fun battle there against Sked. Uh, Twenty-two turns is longer than most of my little cut battles. Uh, usually, usually they uh, they go out much quicker than that. So um, so yeah, it was a great battle. Thank you, Sked, for that. Let's jump into the second one that we did, and I'll show you guys what we had going on. Here we go. Alrighty guys, here we go. Sked picked the second battle that we did today, and he decided to go Anything Goes. Um, and uh, one of the only two Anything Goes teams I had was uh, my clone Be Blastoise team from uh, Subday Challengers back in the day. Um, and uh, he, he originally was like, I actually went with my Rainbow Challenge team. That was the only other Anything Goes team I had. Uh, because I had Rayquaza and things like that on it. Um, and he originally starts off with his app or, or his Alakazam team and was like, you know what, wait. We've got to do clone on clone. So we switched back up and I brought out the Blastoise team. Um, and this team is one that I kind of set up to be able to work in multiple different arenas. Um, and uh, and it actually worked pretty well, especially against a team like, uh, you know, an Alakazam team. And Sked did a very good job of putting together this team. Um... He, uh, he put a lot of thought in it. He's even got a physically defensive, physical attacking uh, Alakazam, which we're going to see here in a little bit. Uh, Rasputin is, is a beast. I remember watching that replay that he sent for Sunday Challenges, and I was just astounded at what he was able to do with that Alakazam. Uh, so um, my Blastoises are doing pretty good here, um, holding up pretty well against uh, the Alakazam Scourge. Uh, here comes Rasputin. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Look at him tanking that physical hit there. Um, and and then he's got the burn, and he's going to be throwing up facades and stuff here. It's just, a, it's hilarious. Uh, I, it, it, you know, even even if it's not the most competitively effective thing, it, it would at least be like, leave people scratching their heads like, what is this thing doing? Um, and, and so that's always, that's always a very strong strategy in um, competitive battling, is, is disrupting your opponent, making them unclear on what exactly you're doing and how they should com combat it. So, um, yeah, Rasputin here, uh, hanging in there, taking lots of hard hits. Uh, Blastoise is finally able to take him down. Uh, and then Ravener comes in. The Aqua Jet does good damage, uh, but that Shadow Ball is going to be enough to take out my final Blastoise. 
uh, and Scad's gonna win the second battle we do there. So uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Um, and and for you guys who who are watching this, if you guys are doing the gray version stuff, um, and I don't happen to have any other challenges now, Scad did have to wait a couple of minutes. Uh, because I, I was like, oh yeah, I don't have any other challenges, let's do this. And then I went back to my homepage and was like, oh, I've got a challenge waiting for me. So, you know, if, if people want to do some battles um, and you've got some teams put together and you, I've got teams put together in the tier you want to do, we could do that just for fun. And, and if they end up being uh, fun, good battles, I'll record them and put them up there or something maybe. But uh, largely, I just didn't have content for this week. And so Scad didn't even know I was recording these. But uh, hey, Scad, there you go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... Um, but yeah, if, if I'm if I have got time, I've, I've, I've committed to kind of sitting there for those things. Uh, and I'm, if I'm not doing something else, we can do other challenges. But um, the gray version stuff is gonna take is gonna take priority. Um, and uh, and and honestly, if you're not doing gray version stuff, I'm not gonna take challenges during that time slot sort of thing. Like that's just kind of an extra fun thing if you're participating in that series. And I've got time, which a lot of times I probably won't. This time I happen to. Um, but those also are my only recording time slots, uh, and so I, I'm also trying to record other series or, or things like that. So even if I'm not fielding um, other challenges for that at some point, I may be doing something else. But it's worth a, worth an ask, and if I've got the time, we can do it. But yeah, anyway, thank you, Scad, for, uh, for some fun battles there, giving me some content for the Thursday time slot. And uh, yeah, thank you guys again for those of you who are participating in the Gray version. Um, by the time you see this... Um, depending on the time of day, chances are uh, recording or challenges have closed uh, for the gray version um, rival battle uh, for this week uh, because I, I'm, I'm cutting it off Thursday lunch. So if you're watching this first thing time that goes up, you may have a chance to get in there. Actually, I had things go up at 7 o'clock in the morning EST, and that's when my first time slot for gray version opens for the day. I'm, I'm, I'm available from 7 to 8 a.m. EST and from noon to 1 p.m. EST. So uh, those are the only two time slots I'm doing on Thursday, though. After lunch on Thursday, I'm cutting it off, and I'm going to have to record and edit and upload and all that kind of stuff for the Sunday, uh, you know, for it to go out on Sunday. But yeah, so uh, thank you guys for those of you who are participating in that series. It's been a lot of fun. I've had a ton of challenges already, uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing what other ones come out this week. Uh, I'm pre-recording this, obviously, a little bit. Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Torment the Grain. You guys have been great. Make sure those likes, comments, subscriptions, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.